God. Hi. Greetings, beloveds. In the light of revelations that each of you are coming to in the dawning of the acceptance of your place in history, there will be Moments when you will say, is this real? Did this occur? What role did I have? Is that true? Understand, beloved, that what you have considered to be the realm of imagination, when you grant yourself access to the recording of the actions that you have taken, the decisions that you have made, the words that you have spoken, every nuance of beingness, it is held in this, in this field. It is held in a, it is a, like a reservoir for you to go and to reflect upon the choices that you made, the actions that you took, the things that you said, the things that you felt, so that when you are ready to take responsibility, when you are ready to say, thy will be done, and you have surrendered your heart and your mind and your soul to the will of God, you can begin to clear all of the choices that you had made along the way, for they do not stay with you in conscious memory, and they will come back as you are ready, willing, and able to release them. And as you release them, you let them go, and then the record is altered the records are cleared and there comes a point when there is not that is left for you have fully come to the position of mastery and you have released and relinquished yourself from every aspect of beingness along this journey that has kept you tethered that has kept your foot nailed to the floor so to speak and kept you spinning in circles round and round and round again Allow yourself, beloved, to grant yourself freedom. Freedom comes from the desire to put the records right, to put the accounting of your existence, of all of your existences, to wipe the slate clean, to put them in true order, to put them in true alignment. With this desire, the intention within the minds to say, let me forgive. There is no sin, let me be happy. There is no fault, there is no shame. Lest you make it so. And then it is written upon the record saying, hmm, in 1417, in a portion of France, you chose to kill an animal out of malice and you felt such shame and you felt such guilt that you then decided to start doing the same to people. And there is the killer that lives within you. And you continue to bury that deeply within your consciousness, but you believe and you know that somewhere that killer exists and then you see someone else who does a similar action and you are outraged. Go within beloved and find that killer and forgive. Lead with love, lead with innocence. Clear and expunge your records. And understand that all that occurred is as it was meant to be. 
all that occurred was an action. But understand that actions have consequences. When you can release yourself from the egoic need to be punished for what you consider to be your sins, you come to see that there are no sin. There are no sins. There is nothing that needs to be forgiven. But until that time, use forgiveness as the key that allows you to accept the truth of you. It is a very simple flow. And it is yours to have every single one of you. So forgive yourselves and each other. Love and embrace one another. Come today to see that indeed there is no sin. There is no sin that cannot be forgiven for there is no sin. There is not even a need for forgiveness. But to the mind that has been sure that this person wronged them and they have committed atrocities against God, God merely does one thing and one thing only and that is love. And as the reflection of God that you are, there is one thing and one thing only that you are meant to do. And that is to love with unbridled passion, yourself first. Forgive swiftly, beloveds. It is the key to unlock this dynamic where you have riddled yourself with guilt and shame and continue to prostrate yourself, prostrate yourself and beat yourself, flagellate, self-flagellation, saying, I must be punished, I must be punished, I am a sinner. You are not, beloveds. You are not. You are an embodiment of love, beautiful, pure, and divine. So remove the judgments. Every time that you judge one, you send yet another shadow to add to the pile. You've been given tools, beloveds. None of this has acted as anything other than in your favor. Allow yourself to clear your records, the records that you yourself have helped to create. Allow forgiveness to come, allow joy to come. Befriend yourself. Are you your own best friend? This beloved one with her electronic device that is slowly melding into her physical body has a list of friends, her favorites. And she placed herself upon the top of her list so that she would be her own favorite being. Allow yourselves to be your own favorite beings, beloveds. Allow yourselves to celebrate with joy that every day is your birthday. Happy birthday, birthday man. We thank you for your service. We thank you for your words. God's love for you is profound indeed, beloved Lloyd. We thank you for all that you do, brother. We are with you always. Allow yourselves to celebrate today and always. When I was young and I came upon children that were harming animals, that had killed animals for joy, for spite, for pleasure, for revenge. There was a part of my heart that I gave to them for their own forgiveness. Each of you has killed insects or harmed animals or hurt one another through myriads of lifetimes and incarnations. Forgive, beloved, supply the salve of forgiveness to each and every moment. And as you are on your journeys and as you remember and as you come back together, and as each of you remove these attachments that you have placed upon yourselves, know that there is a healing that is far greater and far vaster that is occurring where more and more light is being revealed. And the more light that is being shown, the clearer the images become. And then you come to a place of acceptance and you say, ah, there is indeed innocence in all beings, through all beings and with all beings, and it is good. And let that innocence, let that light be shown 
within. And then from within, you share and shine that light onto others. So go with our blessings today, beloved ones. Find forgiveness first and foremost. Look for happiness and find that as well. There are no sins. There is only love. Truly let that come into your heart. You are sinless. You have committed no sins. What would life be like for you to know that all is forgiven? For there never was a need for forgiveness. And all is love and all is light. When I said that there were no sins, it became the story that I had taken away the sins of the world through my crucifixion. All that was being stated was that there were no sins in the first place. It's funny how the story has changed over the years. You do not die for your sins, beloved. You die because you believe that you are bodies that have an expiration date. You celebrate birthdays as the years click by. It's all a field of imagination and play. So allow yourselves to awaken and to remember, beloveds. For as more light comes, there is more light to be revealed. And as you have come together in this cohesive whole, this collective of you, you come forth with messages of love. You become the beacons, the shining examples of what it is to forgive another through the forgiveness of self. So allow yourself to be the messengers of God. Allow yourself to be the Christed being. When you sit in solitude, beloved, ask to be shown the aspect of you that is the Christed being. Don't be surprised if my face appears. And when you look upon it, you see your own. Come home to us, beloveds. Let it all go. You are needed. You have our blessings always, dear ones. Blessings to you, now and always. You are loved beyond the measure. Greetings and salutations, beloveds, and we will speak with you again. Love that. Thank you. Oh, baby. Beautiful.